good morning guys uh happy sunday happy sunday and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my kitchen officially welcome back to my kitchen because i'll be starting again with my cooking videos i think i missed doing those but yeah situations were not letting but now we are back in the kitchen and we'll be cooking and today we're starting off with a sunday seven color dinner uh or sunday lunch I will not be cooking anything fancy. It's your normal seven color dinner with my spin to it. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, the way we cook things is different. We might cook the same thing and it comes out differently because maybe of the spices we use or the amount of spices we use. But anyway, let's cook together today. Let's do a cook along and cook together on today's um, Sunday lunch. I really do think that my family needs to thank Rufumo for me making this huge meal because she always asks, oh my gosh, today is Sunday, Sunday lunch. She's always excited for it and today I think she's gonna love me because I am going, well I'm not going all out, a couple of salads, some fried chicken and we all good to go. So on the menu today we have savory rice, uh, fried chicken. Um, what else do we have? We also have cream spinach, old chakalaka, um, some potatoes, and beetroot. That's it. I think that will cover all the seven colors. I definitely think it will cover. I definitely think it will cover all the seven colors. So yeah, that's all we have on the menu today. Let's get cracking. Let's get cooking. So yeah, I've already destocked um, some spinach. Uh, washed it and cut it up. I'm gonna cook it in some vegetable stock. I'm gonna show you the vegetable stock I used. You can use any vegetable stock that you want. This is a vegetable uh, stock that I'm going to mix up to cook the spinach and after that I'm gonna garnish it. So I'm just putting in the veggie stock and then while that's cooking I'm gonna make some other things. And we'll be back to it and we'll garnish it. So I use this vegetable spice to season up the spinach and then this is what I'm gonna garnish it with. I just wanted it a bit cheesy today so we usually use white sauce but today we're gonna use this cheese sauce from Lancewood. That's it. Nothing more. You can also add some aromatic man. I love aromatic. It gives it a bit of a, I don't know, a nice South African flavor I guess. But yeah, let's finish up the spinach. I put in the entire tub. Oh, okay, focus. Let's put in the entire tub of cheese sauce in there. So I'm just gonna mix it up, and that's it, guys. Honestly, what's left here is that I'm gonna put in a bit of aromat, and there we have our creamy spinach. Super easy. Just to remind you, we cooked it in some vegetable broth or vegetable stock and seasoned it with a bit of uh, veggie spice and then poured in our cheese already made you know store-bought cheese sauce if you are fancy and you've got all the time in the world you can make your own cheese sauce i don't have all that time in the world so store-bought does it for me and then you know just add some aromat with that south african flavor and yeah you're good to go with your creamy spinach. Anyway, ever since I started making beetroot like this, I don't think I've gone back. I love it. I'm using the same spice I used for, I don't remember where I used this one. Where else I used this one, but anyway, I'm just gonna put this in the beet, right? Um, just a little bit, or enough. And then, this is what I dress it with. It's the Wellington Sweet Jalapeno. How do you say jalapeno? Jalapeno, jalapeno. And it gives it a bit of sweetness that has a zing to it. So there's a sweetness and a zing to it. That's where the zing comes from. Yes, the zing comes from the Wellington Sweet um, Jalapeno sauce. Please try it out. Try making your beetroot like that. You are going to love it. Yes, be generous. Generous with it. 
Here we go. Jalapeno sauce from try the exact one piece from Wellington's. You love it. You will not go back. But the potatoes, boiled potatoes over here. Ooh, one color. Okay, so oh, here they are. You see them? I'm seasoning with the lemon and black pepper and burger mayonnaise from Greece. That's the bit of that. Oh, that's a bit much. <laughs> generosity, generosity. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that for a Mesh it up. That's for a Yeah. So the bag of mayo gives it a bit of a no, different taste from the usual um, So you see they're nicely meshed up Yep, I was very generous with the mayo these robot peppers already make three out of seven colors, which makes it a bit easier to achieve the seven colors. But yeah, they will be going into the savory rice. I'm gonna add something special to it, just for good measure. Winter is surely on its way. I'm enjoying, I'm really enjoying, um, Autumn. Even the leaves are falling off the trees. Most of the trees around my house um, have lost their leaves, and by the time it's June, they they won't have any leaves at all, which makes spring even so much special when it comes along, because you know it becomes green again. Yes, what's your favorite um, season? Mine is definitely winter. I love dressing up for winter. Ooh, love dressing up for winter. I feel like it's easier to dress up for winter than it is for summer because summer, you, I mean, you can't walk around naked, can you? But in winter, you can layer up, and I love layering up. I sometimes have a bit of a way, a weird sense of style, which is cute but I love layering up I love wearing um, colored stockings and you know color blocking whether it's in or not I've always been a huge color blocker ever since I was like a teenager I'm Shanghai by the way so I guess it's on brand um, but I love layering up and wearing all different colors that wouldn't be considered as matchy matchy colors but yeah winter is my favorite season okay i'm gonna finish cutting these up and i'm gonna fry them up and so we can put them in our rice i think i cut up a little i'm probably gonna add more so we have a lot of these do you guys have like favorite worship songs if you have a favorite worship song you're watching please comment down below what your favorite worship song is i don't think i have a favorite i love i love worship music um let's see i'm caught up in your presence i just wanna lay down at your feet am i saying the right things i'm caught up in this holy moment i never I'm not here. 
careful blessings. Jesus, you can. And I'm sorry. I think these will be enough for the rice. So, guys, yeah, this is like red. Rice is white. Well, it won't be white after we put this. So, you know, we'll have at least four colors on just the rice. I'm gonna saute these up. And I'm gonna add some bacon just to add a bit of meat and a bit of flavor. And yeah, let's get on to it. Okay, so here I've got some, in this plastic bowl, I've got some uh, spiced up chicken. I uh, use different spices. You can use whatever spice that tickles your fancy. Uh, it's like proper spiced up. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to sear the chicken and take it out of the pot and then add some onions in the pot and then bring the chicken back, add some stock and then let it simmer a little bit add some thickener and i am done for today's chicken i was gonna make oven baked chicken because it's always easier to do but then the kids were like no nope, we're tired of oven baked chicken because yeah that's my go-to we want that saucy saucy falling off the bone kind of chicken so that's what we're gonna do okay there we go we are done Oh, my kids are gonna be so happy with me. There's your rice, savory rice with those bacon bits, uh, mashed potato, a quick chakalaka, not the cooking kind. <laughs> There's the, oh, do you see the steam? The meat is still hot. Uh, there you go, and the beets, yeah perfect 
Sunday afternoon lunch. Hope you got some inspiration to, yeah, to cook your own and yeah, share your recipes with me too. 